And in Tamil Nadu, the Jaya Legacy War has taken an uglier turn. In the latest, AIA DMK General Secretary E. Palani Swami has sacked all 18 supporters expelled leader Opanir Selvam, including OPS's two sons, Lok Sabha MP O.P. Ravindranath and Jaya Pradeep. Now, in response to this, Opanir Selvam has sacked 26, 22 members from AIA DMK, including Ipalani Swami. And in the official letter, OPS referred to himself as the AIA DMK coordinator. He has called the decisions taken by EPS arbitrary and also invalid. Super! I don't know if and the Madras High Court will resume hearing in the AI DMK headquarters sealing case and both EPS and OPS have filed petitions in the High Court seeking the opening of the seal of the AIA DMK headquarters. Now the counsels for Palani Swami and Paneer Selvam made a mention of the petition seeking urgent hearing on Tuesday, a day after the party office in Chennai was sealed following a fiery clash between supporters of the two leaders. Now yesterday the judge sought a report from additional public prosecutor on what happened on 11th at the AIA DMK headquarters. My colleague uh, Dharni is joining us live on the broadcast for more on this. Dharni, if you could please take us through the details of the hearing which will take place in the Madras High Court today. Well, uh, both the OPS faction and the EPS faction, they've approached the Madras High Court to remove the seal from the party's headquarters. Remember, uh, on July 11, when the uh, you know, party had its general council meeting, uh, there was a huge clash between both the factions in front of the ADMK headquarters. In fact, several people were also injured and they were shedding blood. Uh, so in that backdrop, a uh, revenue division officer, uh, she uh, you know, ordered the revenue officials and the police officials to seal the ADMK headquarters, uh, you know, uh, so until this point in time, as we are talking, the headquarters is sealed. So both the APS faction and the OPS faction, they have approached the Madras High Court to remove the seal. They have filed the petition separately. So uh, those petitions, they came for a hearing in front of uh, Justice Satish Kumar of the Madras High Court yesterday. So while hearing the petition, uh, the EPS uh, faction, Adapati Palanisamy faction, they were complaining that uh, uh, O Paneer Salvam and his group triggered the violence and they were also, you know, see, see carrying uh, uh, sticks and weapons when they were marching towards the headquarters and uh, they also uh, complained that the police uh, did not you know try to stop the violence from happening and that the police were uh, you know in a hesitant or an ignorant manner uh, standing there without doing anything uh, they, they told that it's it's a it's a uh, it's a uh, uh, unmaintenance of you know law and order that happened there in front of the adnk headquarters there uh, so that's the complaint and uh, uh, that's the accusation that we looked at from the EPS version of the Madras High Court yesterday. But, uh, you know, in, in reply to this, uh, the OPS faction has told that, uh, you know, they were in no way responsible to what happened there and that uh, they were inside the building and the violence took place in the road outside. So, uh, they are telling that they cannot be held accountable for something that happened outside the, you know, uh, headquarters office. And they told uh, uh, they are not responsible for what happened. So, meanwhile, right. uh, uh, Justice Satish Kumar, he told the right. additional public prosecutor to submit a detailed report today uh, as to what exactly happened. Uh, who triggered the violence and how many people were injured and uh, how many people have been detained by the Chennai police in relation to this particular violence. So uh, that report will be submitted by the additional public prosecutor today uh, when the case comes for hearing, you know, post-afternoon. Uh, so uh, following that, Justice uh, Satish Kumar, he'll be continuing the hearing and uh, making some observations also. So we'll report on that. Right, Dani. Thank you so much for taking us through all those details.